a successful poultry farm begins with proper raising of chicks. The chick death or chick mortality in the early days after the chicks have arrived in the farm have discouraged many people to get into the poultry farming. That is why in today's video we are going to discuss how to raise the baby chicks after they arrive in the farm from the hatchery. Therefore, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also hit uh, the bell icon so that you can be notified whenever we post a new video make sure also that you hit that like button because that is very helpful for our channel chicks are very delicate to handle especially for the first few days and the biggest challenge poultry farmers face is to get the chicks to adapt to the environment of the brooder the other things to look out for except uh, from the environment and adaptation to the environment are the temperature are uh, the feeds and the water early chick management revolve around these three factors that is the environment the feeds and the water here here is what you should do to, the, to your chicks in the first 10 days after they arrive in the farm. Let us start with day one and this day one is the day of arrival of the chicks at the farm. So the chicks should be offloaded from the truck used for transportation carefully into the brooding area. As you unpack the chicks in the brooding area uh, from the cartons, check for abnormalities in the chicks. For example, the pest event, any signs of illnesses, fractures, ruffled feathers, and any other signs of sicknesses in the chicks. Chicks with these in, uh, abnormalities should be treated separately and with much care. At this point, I assume that you had pre-warmed the brooder or the chick house. The brooder should be well prepared with all the necessary equipment for brooding. The temperatures of the brooder should be raised to 35 to 37 degrees and the humidity should be at 65 to 70 percent before the chicks arrive at the farm. Pre-warming is very essential to prevent stress in chicks which may come when the chicks uh, lie or step on the cages which are usually cold so the pre-warming helps to warm the environment on also the contents of the brooder so that when the chicks are, are put in the brooder they do not get a cold shock which uh, can bring about stress water is the first thing that should be given uh, to the chicks five percent of glucose is usually added into the drinking water of the chicks. Uh, the 5% glucose is added into the water because during transportation, the chicks undergo stress and upon arrival at the farm, they are very desperate for a source of readily absorbable source of energy and glucose. Uh, and this addition of glucose will help them perfectly. Uh, the lighting also should be sufficient. Use bulbs that give out uniform light to help the chicks to see the feeds and the water properly. Bulbs uh, should be close enough to the chicks to the chick activity area so that they can be able to uh, see as well the feeds and the water. However, the bulbs should not be close too much to avoid vent and feather pecking. Before introducing the feeds to the chicks, they should be given liquid paraffin. Liquid paraffin is a type of oil that is also used in hair and skin therapy by ladies. Liquid paraffin is very essential before giving chicks uh, the feeds. This is because, uh, number one, uh, the liquid paraffin protects the delicate gut of the chicks from injury which can be caused by the coarse feeds. And this is achieved because the liquid paraffin oil is able to lubricate the whole digestive system uh, or the lining of the whole digestive system therefore making the feed pass through the, system, the digestive system with ease. Number two is that the liquid paraffin increases chicks appetite. Another major advantage of giving the liquid paraffin to the chicks is that it reduces the chances of constipation. Many chicks die because of constipation and this occurs when the fecal material cannot be passed out but when 
uh, the liquid paraffin is added, the lubrication will happen in all uh, the intestines and even in these organs that are used to excrete uh, the feces and the constipation problem will be solved. Number four is that liquid paraffin reduces mortality of the cheeks by solving the indigestion complication. One of the major causes of the early death in the cheeks is due to digestion complications. Therefore, liquid paraffin will help to reduce these mortalities because it will solve many cases of indigestion of feeds in the cheeks. Now, how do you add this liquid paraffin into the cheeks drinking water? Number one, it is preferred that you first warm the water before adding the liquid paraffin. Therefore, you are going to warm the drinking water of the cheeks and put it in the cheek baby drinkers. After putting this warm water uh, into the drinkers of the cheeks, then you are going to add drops of this paraffin oil all around the water. And uh, since the water is warm and denser than oil, the liquid a paraffin oil will evenly spread on the surface of the water and every cheek will be able to drink the oil. Liquid paraffin can be bought at the agrovets or even at the cosmetic shops which sells women from products most importantly before i forget is to make sure you introduce the cheeks to the feeds and the water you should take some of the cheeks and make the a big speck on the feeds and the water and now let us talk about what are you going to do from day two to day three The temperature and the humidity should be maintained as that of day one. That is, that is, we said that the temperature should be maintained at 35 to 37 degrees Celsius. Another thing is that water should be offered ad libitum. If the water supply is not mechanized, make sure that if you are supplying the the water manually by adding into the drinkers and after they finish then you add another one make sure that the drinkers are cleaned daily and that the water that is being given to the chicks is pure and that it has no uh, it has no impurities because this can lead to early death because of diseases that can be caused by microbes or the microorganisms that can be found in impurified water a feed should be provided efficiently that is the cheeks should have four meals per day in the correct amount uh, because if you decrease the, the rationing that is uh, required then the cheeks are not going to grow properly some may ask how you are how are we going to maintain the humidity the humidity in the brooder water is usually placed on a stove and allowed to boil and as the water boils it will release vapor this will raise the at the levels of humidity in the brooder. Alternatively, you can sprinkle warm water in the brooder and as the water evaporates, it will help to maintain good humidity levels in the brooder. Now let us discuss what are you going to do from day 4 to day 7. Number one is that lighting can now be decreased by one hour per day. Another thing is that for the feeds, the meals can now be decreased up to three times per day. But the water should be offered ad libitum. Uh, water being offered ad libitum means that water should always be available for the chicks throughout the whole 24 hours. Note that drugs cannot be used 24 hours before and after immunization and multivitamin doses in water water should be appropriately reduced according to health in conditions of the cheeks. Another thing is that the temperature in the brooder should be lowered by 1 to 2 degrees. That is, at, at around this time, the degrees should be around 34 degrees Celsius to 36 degrees Celsius. Another thing that you are going to introduce at, before, uh, at this day 4 to day 7 is ventilation. But before you ventilate the house or the brooder, make sure that you increase the brooder temperature by 1 to 2 degrees. Increasing this temperature by 1 to 2 degrees uh, before ventilating, it helps to prevent that shock that comes with the flow of air into the brooder because these chicks are very delicate and any abrupt change of the environmental you know parameters can lead to 
uh, to shock which can lead to stress and which can ultimately lead to death ventilation should be done three to five times a day so ventilation is very essential because if you are using for example the charcoal burners as your source of heat in the brooder this uh, ventilation will help to clear the carbon monoxide and the carbon and uh, carbon dioxide that have accumulated from the production by the charcoals and this can prevent and this helps to prevent gas poisoning uh, also remove the manure every day and disinfect the brooder make sure that you don't let the the pee of from the chicks to accumulate in the brooder make sure that you clear it off and you disinfect it you are disinfecting the brooder because uh, the any type of bacteria that can be present in the brooder can easily cause the death of these chicks because they are so delicate and their immune system have not developed to deal with this kind of bacteria uh, on the seventh day weigh the chicks and adjust the daily feed, feeding dose accordingly you should be in a place where you know the growth trend of your birds you should be able to know if your birds are increasing or decreasing in weight and this will help you to manage their feeds and know if your going to add or decrease uh, your feeding rations now, now let us discuss what are you going to do from day 8 to day 10 You are, number one you're going to decrease the light time by one hour every day number two you're going to sufficiently uh, supply water and feeds this is very essential because uh, it helps to support adequate growth of the chicks frequency of ventilation is is required uh, for two to three hours durations make sure that when you ventilate uh, the ventilation is there for around two to three hours uh, the brooder temperature should be controlled at 33 to 34 degrees celsius and the humidity should be at 60 percent uh, this is the main things that you should make sure that you put in place during the first 10 days of in the first 10 days or in this first week this is when a lot of farmers lose the chicks because of poor mismanagement or poor management uh, programs therefore make sure that the temperatures are okay the environment is okay and the feeds and the water are uh, those are the very major things that can cause that if mismanaged can cause the death of your chicks make sure that you click the video on your screen right now so that you can be able to know how to achieve zero deaths uh, of chicks in your farm in the brooding time